We will see if today is a good day to have babies or not. Children doing chores at night. Good morning, baby mama. Let me go in to check you, okay? They are barely there, but they're still there. Do we have another day before the children come out? We do? That's good to know. She's not eating too much at night by herself. So everything that she had here, I am putting, it's clean. I'm gonna fill this up. And I'm gonna give her some extra time to eat by herself while I get some waters and stuff and then I let everyone out. Mocha's one of those pearls that she gets extra needy. You know how sometimes they get skittish and they don't want you to be near? Well, this is Mocha for you. And she is close to having her babies. She likes to be pet. She likes to be scratched. During pregnancy, she's not too happy when you touch her udder, unless she's in the milk stand, but she, uh, when she's closer to having her baby, she loves when I touch her udder. I'm sure it's kind of, uh, I don't know, maybe she feels some pressure there. So that's why. Is that why, sweet girl? Is it, does it give you some relief? My cold hands? <laughs> but she still has ligaments. She's looking um, still wide. If you compare one side to the other, like her right side, this side, it's a little bit more dropped compared to her rumen side. Because she had the food for herself last night since she's staying in um, <laughs> Annabelle's stop. Since she's staying in a stall by herself. So that's why she's, as you can see, she's not interested in the feed. But she's not interested in eating right now. So she probably doesn't feel too good. Get down, Gaia. Hi, Annie. You still have a month to go, so you should be okay. I mean, I can pet you for sure. Oh, my goodness gracious. Okay. I can pet you, but it's your sister who's needy right now, okay? And she's like, um, I'd rather go eat now. And my sister is not there. Annabelle is a little needy when she sees that Mocha is getting all the attention. But I feel bad for Mocha. She's like so, so tired and so sad looking. As soon as I step out of the pen, that should show me how she's really acting. But when she is close to birth, she wants me to be around her, but she will resume her goat life as soon as I get out of the pen. But if I'm here, she just wants me to be with her. She'll look for me everywhere. If I'm doing stuff, like getting waters or stuff, she goes and waits by the gate. If I am getting food, I mean, she really wants to go where I keep the food, but she's not because she doesn't want to walk too much. Now my daughter keeps saying that she thinks she's going to have quads. I guess it's a possibility. I don't know. In camera, 
every time I look her through the lens, she looks smaller and smaller. Can you see her Roman movie? <laughs> It looks smaller and it it looks smaller in camera, but when you look at her in real life, she looks a lot more wide. And last night, um, I did my last check when it was dark, which reminds me I need to charge my LED light. Um, and we came at night, and my daughter saw her and was like, "Mom, she's just there's no way that there's." Two or three kids in there. There's, there's definitely four. Um, I, you know, quads are fun, and right now it's not too, too cold at night, and we're supposed to start getting better weather. So, it... Gaia, stop! Go play! Oh my gosh, you guys, stop annoying your mom! Yeah, we, we're not eating my camera though. Thanks. See if she decides. Let's see if she wants to go. Let's see. Oh, she is a wide load. Hi, Yasin. Hi, girlfriend. She's like, oh, these twins are chasing me, Graham. Help me. Help me, Graham. Ah, Gaia. I swear you think I'm a goat. Oh, Gaia. Bree, Bree! Oh my gosh. Bree, get out. Get down. Get down, girlfriend. You're too big. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Bree, you're too big, sweet. Bree, Bree. Go down, sweet girl. Look, they're fighting. Go fight them. She's like, nope. I'd rather be here with you, Grums. I'm like, nope. I'd rather be on your lap. Oh, I love you too, but listen. Ow! Your hooves are like steaks. Okay, go. Oh, 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 oh. Girlfriend. Ow! Oh, good girl. Oh, good girl. Good girl. You can sit here with Grums. You still fit. Oh, a, a bit. Oh my gosh, breathe. Oh my gosh, breathe, breathe. Lay down. Lay down with grounds. Lay down. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah! Oh my gosh. My life. And my grandchildren. They're so sweet. I don't, I can't say no to my children. Hi, <laughs> Athene. She won't let you get on me. I'm so sorry. Okay, Brie. 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 Young lady. It's a thing. He's like, please, Grabs. I want to go on your lap. Excuse you, young lady. Excuse you. Oh, sweetie. I'll get, oh, Mocha, be nice to her. She's your sister. Half sister. Okay, 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 girlfriend. Can we okay. talk about this? I am not a mountain. We talked about, well, I'm not a mountain to her either, but, hi, Brie. Brie, Brie. Stop fighting with Athene. No, I'm looking at you, 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 sweet girl. I breathe. I can't. Breathe, breathe. Get down, sweet girl. No, let's go. Let's go down. Let's go down. Let me, let me get a theme. Breathe. Yes, you. You know who you are. Oh, those kisses. We'll fix everything in our lives. That's true. Kisses do fix lots of things. Ow, 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 ow. Especially in this goat pen. Look at me. I was thinking I was going to town with this pants. Hi. You're okay. They're bullying you. I'm sorry. They're bullying you so much. I'm sorry. <laughs> they don't want you to be on my lap. Oh my gosh, Briere. Stop it. 
Okay, girlfriend, you're eating? Yes, you mocha. Life is good, right? Life is good? All right, oh, I love orchard hay. Why are you guys fighting so much? Annabelle, be a good auntie. <laughs> Athene, why are you trying to fight with her? She's half sister of yours. Be nice. It's Friday night right now. And she's staying in a stall by herself. I finished the walls and by finished I mean I used a little bit of stain you can tell the difference between the other one to make it a little bit more waterproof for when they start putting their butts against the wall and during labor I did do that bottom part there and I replaced this two here remember they were full of holes I replaced that I still need to put one of those that I'm going to keep for feeding and then that is just going to stay for uh, minerals and baking soda but she has hay for herself, minerals, baking soda, water and the room that she needs to spread out if she's feeling a little uncomfortable. She showed signs of being uncomfortable but no contractions today so I think we're, we're good there and the rest of the goats will be fine you know sharing spaces while well, Moga is taking the time to focus on herself now for some people they say that it's very stressful to for goats to be alone they are right there they can hear each other they can talk to each other the first day she was kind of stressed I kind of show that in a video but by now, this is the third night that she's spending by herself in this stall. I think she's pretty used to it. Her poop started to be very light. She just pooped right now. So, not clumped together, not stressed. Um, and I'm very, very happy that she's getting used to it because she's gonna have to stay with these babies in this stall for a while. While they bond and uh, we are away. I just don't want any baby goats outside and you know just maybe get through the holes in the fence you know they have squares and they're they're kind of big for Nigerians so it's so definitely something that we need to work on but it's not right now just keeping an eye on her and making sure she is doing okay I did buy a couple of extra things that I needed, like I ran out of sterile gloves and I got that. Um, I made a mistake and I got different kind of gloves last time and I ended up using them for random things and cleaning, but right now I got the sterile ones and um, that is just for her protection, not so much for mine, but if I have to help in anything whatsoever, I'm not even saying going in, but just helping her pull any of the kids out. I feel better if I am not touching her while I have my gloves on and try to keep them as sterile as possible. You know, some people just wear gloves throughout the process. I don't. I like to just put them on when I know I need them because I don't want to contaminate it because otherwise what's the purpose of having those gloves? As you can see, her other really is starting to pop I don't know if you remember but I showed you this morning it's kind of sticking out now and the top part is not so kind of saggy you know how it, when they start to develop an udder that's how it looks like well right now it looks like a big balloon mm, so we'll see what happens there I noticed today that she needs her hooves trimmed I did it maybe four weeks ago, so it's about time to do it. I don't want to put her through that right now because she's very heavy and it's going to be hard to balance herself in three legs. 
but it's definitely something that I'm gonna do as soon as she gets. So that's the mocha update.